So in the last lesson, we looked at how we could enter the data into a spreadsheet um, to grab the template from Timeline.js and then use that to put our data in. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this data and we're going to import it into Timeline.js to create this interactive timeline. So let's go back to our Timeline.js website and let's scroll down to our instructions. So it says what we need to do, we need to publish our spreadsheet to the web. So that's why we need to make sure that our links within our spreadsheet are cited and referenced and they are also legal images that we are able to use. So let's go back to our spreadsheet. We go to File and then we click on Publish to Web. We want to do a link and we want to do the entire document and we want to publish. So let's click on that. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, now what we can do is we can take this link, so we do Command C to copy that. We go back to our timeline JS and now insert this into this space here. So we go paste, Command V. Now we can change the width and height of our timeline if we want to. We can show optional settings here, which allows us to change the language. Um, and various different items it's got on here. Um, I'm going to leave it all as the default. But if you want to play around with those settings, then you can. And now what we can do is we can click Preview, or we can get the link to Preview. So we can do either. So uh, let's get the link. So here's our interactive timeline. So what we can do now is we can scroll through, and we can go and have a look. We can click on these ones. Uh, we can see Henry the First, or we can click on the the sidebars here, or we can click on the arrows here. And as we go through, here's a video, so we can click the video, we can watch the video, and so on and so forth. But as you can see, it's an interactive video. Now here is the link. So this is the link that you can actually now use to embed and put into other social media. So you can tweet this out, you can put it on Facebook, etc., etc., and then it will appear in your social media site. So this is how you would share it. So you would take that link and share it. So for example, if I wanted to take this link, I can copy this link, Command C, I can go to my Facebook page and paste that link into my Facebook page. And there we go, is my timeline embedded in there. Now when you put it on Facebook, you will see a little bit of a graphic there as well. I'm not going to publish this right now. But that's how you would do it. And you can tweet that out, you can Google Plus it, etc., etc. So that is Timeline JS. It's a fantastic application. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use your own photographs and insert them into the spreadsheet for Timeline JS. And then in the final lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to create a Google Form that allows you to gather the data from other people using a Google Form and then insert that into Timeline JS.